So what I want to talk about is nature. Um, synthetic biology is promising to transform life and biology into material for design. And so that's a pretty big promise. And what I'm curious about is what that means if the field actually succeeds. Is that going to challenge our position in nature or how we've kind of always seen ourselves as separate to nature? Suddenly we're going to be put alongside the things that we design in the same kind of category of living things. Synthetic biology references design all the time. Um, I, and I'm curious, as a designer, are you, if you are all the designers of the future, am I going to be out of a job? Am I going to have to train as a synthetic biologist? But what are you actually designing? Are you designing life? Are you designing nature? Are you designing biology? That's something we've been asking on the Synthetic Aesthetics Project. And we're kind of curious if we can treat design in this field as the same way as we have for past technologies, like the technologies that drove the industrial revolutions and the information technology revolutions. But is life just matter with delusions of self-importance? So that's what an evolutionary biologist I heard speaking in London say. Um, and I don't want to come across as a vitalist in this room because that probably wouldn't be a good thing. But what does it mean to design nature? And how do you design nature? And how do you design nature well? So this image here on the screen, for those you can see, is from a project called Growth Assembly, which I did with another artist who's somewhere in the audience called Sasha Poflet. And it was inspired by the work of the Hasselhoff Lab in Cambridge, England. And we were considering living machines as the industrial robots of the future. Um, if we start to grow products inside plants, we were inspired by Jim's work in plant morphogenesis, will products uh, grow literally from plants? Will we use plants to harvest parts and then assemble them, bringing softness and diversity into a realm that's previously been dominated by industrial standards and, and hardness? So I guess the thing that I wanted to ask this evening is, is there something about different about designing living systems? Do we need a new definition of design? And ultimately, can we actually design nature? Thank you.